Okay, guys, welcome to your um, love reading for Libra. This is going to be for your September 2024. You can apply this to your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look at the person that you are separated from. We're going to see if this person will come back towards you. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. Apply this to your own situations. You may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Libra people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on uh, when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So let's get started here for Libra. What messages do we have here for Libra? The person that Libra is separated from. Um, will this person come back towards Libra? Will this person come back towards Libra? Will this person come back towards Libra for September 2024? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Libra. For Libra. <clears throat> We have the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and the Fool card here. Yeah, I do feel like who, whoever this is, this is an individual here that's still very much in love with you. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces with the King of Cups and the Fool card here. Yeah, this person's kind of like, yeah, fuck yeah, let's do this. Let's 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 have this new beginning here, okay? Um, whoever this is, I feel like this person's very excited about it, all right? This person's thinking about you all the time with the Four of Cups here. You know, they're thinking about how they could give you more here. You know, I feel like whoever this is, you know, with the Four of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles here, I feel like this person is learning further from their mistakes here you know perhaps this person is emotionally maturing here okay where the four of cups and the seven of pentacles you know i feel like this is an individual here that does not want to waste any more of your time i feel like this person also feels like they wasted their time here i do feel like this person's in some sort of deep regret here where i feel like this person wants to come in with some sort of apology here all right with the you know perhaps they are apologizing for not giving you the time of the day here perhaps they want to apologize Apologize for being non-committal here, okay? We have the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like you're in this situation here, Libra. I feel like you're just feeling very disappointed here, okay? With the Queen of Pentacles here and the Seven of Wands, any sort of communication with from this individual here, you know, I feel like you're going to block this person here. I feel like you don't want to talk to this person. Tell me the Five of Cups. Why is the Five of Cups here? The Five of Cups and also the Knight of Cups here, yeah. We have some here that's coming in with a love offer here. Yeah, I do feel like this person's going to basically, I would say, I would say that this person's gonna love bomb you to death. I mean, obviously, figuratively, not literally here, but I feel like this, this, person, this person's gonna try very, 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 very hard here. The Sun of the Pentacles here and the King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. So I feel like this person definitely wants to talk, perhaps clear the air here and put everything out on the table here. With the Four of Cups here, and we have the World card. You know, I feel like this person, basically, you know, you mean the world to them. You know, I feel like this person does, does not want this connection to end. But, you know, it seems pretty obvious that you are moving forward here. You know, you're moving towards a new beginning here. You know, I feel like this person is trying everything that they can to sort of like make their way back to even if they had to lie you know i feel like this person's gonna juggle knives i feel like this person's gonna bend over backwards i feel like this person's gonna do somersaults you know i feel like this person will try everything here i don't feel like this is a very trustworthy individual and i feel like that could be the reason why that you separated from this uh, person we have the king of cups here and the ace of wands so what we have is that they are looking for a passionate new beginning here with you okay a fresh new start what else do we have for for libra <clears throat> what else does libra need to know look out for work on when it comes to this person that they are separated from for libra here
And we have the Three of Cups and the Strength card, Leo Energy. We have the Sun and also Judgment, Sagittarius Energy. We have the Chariot, and also we have the Nine of Cups. So we do, this person does want to come back around to reconcile here with you. They want to move forward here with you, okay? The thing is, I feel like you could be choosing to make a decision here where I feel like this kind of changes the whole trajectory of this relationship here. Basically, you're going to stay separated from this individual. You know, I feel like you're making a final decision about this here, and I feel like you're not going back on this person, or on the decision that you're making here. <coughs> Tell me about the Three of Cups. Why is the Three of Cups here? In the Five of Wands, yeah. Uh, any sort of reconciliation here between this person and you, I feel like it's not going to go really well. I do feel like there's going to be a lot of fighting. There's going to be a lot of arguing here. I feel like you guys, you know, both of you guys, you know, have trouble resolving whatever issues that you guys have gone through here yeah you know let's say if you guys have gone back together several times here's th those issues never went away yeah uh, i don't know i feel like someone here might have very poor self-control but you know i just feel like someone here is definitely trying to remain strong you know and trying to really have some sort of firm boundaries with this individual that's trying to come back around tell me the sun card here why is the sun card here and the Seven of Cups. Tell me the Judgment card. Why is the Judgment card here? Judgment. And the Eight of Swords here. Yeah, you know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like you're trying to break free from the situation. Yeah, one of the things I'm also getting is that, you know, at some point, I feel like you were giving your power away to this individual here, you know? Kind of like, here, like, take care of me, you know? Um, you know, so, some of you guys could be, you know, dealing with some sort of, like, codependency issues or something like that. Or some of you guys could be dealing with some deep insecurities where I feel like you guys are having trouble being alone. You're just being single here, okay? And I feel like you guys are maybe actively trying to work on that, you know, and trying to get out of the illusion of, like, okay, if I jump into a, 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 jump into a relationship with someone, you know, all my trauma, all my hurt, all my pain, all the suffering that I've been through here will go away. And I feel like one of the things that, you know, perhaps you and your person has to learn that, you know, when it comes to our own healing, it's our responsibility. And if you're getting into a relationship, you know, for the reasons of like, oh my God, this person's going to love me. I'm going to love this person and all my worries and all my troubles and all my, you know, traumas will all go away. That's not how it works. A lot of times, you know, when we don't deal with our own pain, deal with our own hurt, deal with our own traumas, a lot of times it comes up in our romantic relationships, you know, because a lot of times what we attract, you know, who we attract is what's going on inside our inner world, okay? With the Eight of Swords here and Judgment. We have the Chariot and the Nine of Swords. Yeah, I just feel like you just know that this is not going to go well. With the Nine of Swords, the Nine of Swords, this, I mean, the seven, for me, the Seven of Swords and the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Swords and the Ten of Swords is very, 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 very heavy energy. And I feel like this is not what you want. And I feel like you're realizing that, you know what, I'm just going to pour it into my own cup here and not worry about this person anymore. I need to move on from this because this person's not giving me what I want. The longer I, I stay, you know, and this person hurts me again, you know, the longer I'm keeping myself, yourself from your blessings from coming into your life. And the longer that you stay, you know, because you're aware of what this person could do, you're actually putting yourself in a place where you're getting hurt and you're suffering at the same time, you know? So Libra, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.